And tonight we are wrapping up our day long series, A Woman's Guide to Self Defense. Besides carrying a firearm, there are many ways to protect yourself by using ordinary things you might already have in your car or your purse. And tonight's KDK's Laura Magola shows us in tonight's special report common everyday items and gadgets, plus how to use your own surroundings as your weapon. <laughs> This might look like a scene out of an action movie, but it's not. This is what Krav Maga looks like, a type of self-defense that teaches you how to fight off an attacker in a realistic setting. You do build strength, but rather than focusing on building strength, you're focusing on using what you have to your advantage. Whether you feel you're in danger or just want to feel more at ease about walking alone at night, there are many tools that could help save your life. Some may even be in your hand or within reach right now. Something as simple as a chair from here, being able to grab, and as if he wants to touch it from here, being able to twist it, and I can toss this that way and create distance this way. An attack can happen anywhere, anytime, even in your own home. That's why self-defense instructor Nathan Lundstrom offers training in simulator rooms like this, putting you in real-life scenarios. It's good to be in a tight space and know how to not only handle that situation, but also use it for your advantage. Instead of feeling trapped in a corner, Lundstrom teaches how to use that corner to fight back. I want you to look at your surroundings as assets. If I can be up against it, I can put my attacker against it. I can push off of walls. Anything from a couch, a wall, or a water bottle can be a self-defense tool. But if you need to carry a gadget to feel safe, there are plenty online. A popular item among women is a noisemaker. This right here looks like a normal flashlight keychain, but when you pull this string, it lets out a loud sound, drawing attention to yourself and potentially scaring off an attacker. But knowing what to do next is what really makes a difference. All these are inanimate objects. They won't work unless you have the ability to use them. So you have your dominant hand to grab and your lead hand or your non-dominant hand to protect, grab, push, pull. All over social media apps, you can find posts of self-defense products disguised as everyday items. Women sharing videos of a cell phone taser or a knife disguised as a hair comb. But how helpful are those devices in the heat of the moment? Marketing individual products like that for ladies is that it tends to become really gimmicky really fast. So most of the time it's probably made pretty cost effective in China or other places and it's just not got the highest quality standard so I, I just wouldn't rely on it. And when it comes to pepper spray, there are some mixed opinions. I advocate for pepper spray. If someone's hyped up on drugs or high on emotions, I mean, methamphetamine, I mean, like, they, they don't really, they, they may not even know that they've been sprayed. Self-defense experts say other tools might be more effective and even more compact, like a tactical pen. More of a get off of me uh, sort of instrument uh, that writes. Or keychains that pack a punch. Imagine just getting stabbed with that. Holding it like such with your thumb at the end from here. And again, also another what we call a hammer fisting device. They can help you cause even more damage to an attacker. You're going to be on all these items where you're going to be targeting is the eyes, the th anywhere in the face, the throat, any really soft tissue. And the best part is, a lot of these tools will cost you less than $20. These range from anywhere from $5.99 to about $9.99. Despite all the cool gadgets out there, one thing you can always rely on, knowledge. Self-defense instructors say being educated and having proper training beats any tool you can buy, because weapons can also be turned around on you. 99% of people have no idea what the stress of violence is going to be like. And that's why we train the way that we do. So you never hesitate if your life is suddenly on the line. Lauren Margolis, KTK News. And that completes our series, A Woman's Guide to Self-Defense. But if you missed our other special reports earlier this day, don't worry, you can still catch up. Just head on over to the website, KTK.com.